so things are going great for Lynn. She's having the best time. She's about to sit back with a drink with a little umbrella in it and just, you know, lay on the beach for a bit and be happy and content. Uh, so I don't really see any problems. Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today is the 14th of June and yesterday Marks and I sat down and talked about our dual role project and tried to figure out where we want to be at with the project when. This resulted in us deciding that we want to be done with the first half, the first draft of the first half, at the end of June. Today is the 14th. But not only do we want to be done with the first draft of the first half at the end of June, we actually want to be done on the 25th which is midsummers, first of all, doesn't really matter, but I do have that day off work. And it's the day before our last Dual Rule update stream for June. So if you've been listening and you've done the math, that is 11 days away. I am currently sitting at 72,075 words, which is crazy long, seeing as how it's not even the first half of my side of the story. Again, this is a project that Marks and I are co-writing, which means that we have one POV each following not the same plot, but a similar plot. They will, you know, come together and go apart at certain times. I'm at 72,000 words and I haven't even reached the halfway point of my side of the story. And on top of that, I consider myself an underwriter, so I don't even want to know how long this is going to be. I do, I do want to know, but I'm a little scared. So I figured I'd start filming a writing vlog, starting with this clip right now, and see if I can run this for two weeks or for 11 days, so just over a week actually, and uh, take you along on this journey, hold myself accountable with this, and uh, hopefully hit that deadline, because that would be very nice. But also it's a lot of words, presumably a lot of words to get done. Do I think I can do it? Yeah, probably. I've written a lot before. Marks and I are planning a writing day this upcoming Sunday. Today's Monday. So hopefully it shouldn't be a problem. But I also have a really, really hectic period at my job right now and people are dropping off to go on vacation and stuff. So I'm quite fried. <laughs> my brain is quite fried when I come home in the evenings. So we'll see how it actually ends up going. But I do like a deadline. So there is that. Now, like I said, I'm just over 72,000 words and I don't know how much I have left. If you've been in the planning streams, if you've been following along with that, if you've checked out any of the files, I'll link down below to the drive folder where we have the plot and stuff. I don't have much left until the halfway point. Lid has done the electricity challenge and she has now moved down through the same city she was in before that I'm sure has a name, I can't remember it and she's heading towards the water challenge or water trial, trial. But I realized that there are some complications with where she's at in the story and what's happened to her. She has a very badly injured arm that she will have to deal with. I also think there might be wanted posters up for her in the city now. So like there are things happening that she needs to find a way through and I don't really know what is happening or how she'll get through them. What I need to get done before the deadline is getting her to the water trial and presumably right up until the point that Neam joins her. We did plan for her to be at the location of the water trial for quite a long time without Neam showing up, but I don't know how interesting that'll be to read or write, and I don't know if I'm gonna write that or if I'm gonna just get her to the water trial and then break there and then see what I need to put at that part of the story once I'm further along. But that is where I'm at right now. That is my goal for the end of this video and for the end of these 11 days. I wanna be at the water trial. They won't do the water trial, but I wanna be at the location of the water trial. So with that, I'm gonna go get some ice cream that just finished. If you heard a whirring sound a little earlier in the video, that was the ice cream maker. So I'm gonna get that and then uh, do a little bit of writing, I think. I also have a bit of a headache and I'm feeling, like I said, quite fried after work. So we'll see how much I get done but I hope to at least get to a point where I know where I'm jumping off from tomorrow. That would be nice. Doing that, talking to you later. Hello again, it's a bit later. It's about 20 minutes past nine now. And according to my tracking, I've only spent about five minutes on the project, which seems reasonable. <laughs> I did some brainstorming and then I did a five minute sprint just to sort of collect my thoughts into a bullet point list. 
and I cleared up a few things or cleared up but I have a bit more of an aim with some of them with others I just feel equally lost and I've now reached out in the discord which will be linked down below in case you're not a part of that and you would like to be I have reached out in the discord in the dual rule project channel of the discord to ask for some advice because I need to solve these things before the next check-in stream so what I really need to do is get Lid from where she's at now to the location of the water trial she will not do the water trial yet but I need to get her there and she is supposed to have a dream of that location that guides her where to go that's really all I have to do but then I have Lid having her very broken arm that I kind of want her to dispose of for lack of a better word I have at least four people in the city who she interacted with, who she could interact with again, that may or may not provide something good. I did have a really horrible idea about something that could happen to the archivist that took care of her, so that's fun. But I also don't know how much more side plot stuff I want to put into it. At the same time, I feel like I have a fair few loose ends of like vague threats being posed here and someone said something that sounded like the start of something that aren't being resolved. And once the water trial is done, I don't think Lid is coming back to the city. She is gonna head towards the capital instead. So a lot of things that are location bound and bound to people in this location need to be solved now. Is anything really left unresolved at this point? I don't know. Again, the archivist was very nice to Lid. I feel like Lid would try to search her out again, find her again to get help. There was a person who threatened her. There was a person who stood up for her when she was being threatened. And there was a person in the marketplace who Lid had a very brief interaction with. But still, these are sort of four sort of loose ends, plus the whole guard situation with guards chasing her and shooting her down from the sky and injuring said injured arm. So I'm a little bit lost, but I'm hoping that something will happen in the Discord overnight. If not, that was a cat just there. Uh, if not, I will just try to solve it on my own. But I haven't actually done any writing. Again, I did the bullet point list that was 191 words in five minutes not really worth tracking. I'm still tracking it because I've said that I'm gonna track my writing this year, but it doesn't actually sit in the story. It's just a bullet point list that I'll hopefully make something else out of, but those 191 words will not be staying. Either way, that is it for the first day of no writing, some brainstorming, tired brain, and no issues resolved, really. See you tomorrow. It is Tuesday. Am I wearing the same clothes? Yes. Am I wearing my hair in the same braid as yesterday? Yes. Have I also slept in it and been outside in the wind and should maybe take it out? Yes. It is 20 to 6 in the evening. I am home from work. I am waiting for Teresa to cook some dinner. She's making a carbonara, which is going to be really nice. Since I last talked to you, I've been thinking about my story a bit on and off and I'm a little stressed about it. Not actually about finishing it because I, I want to think that that's going to be not the biggest hurdle ahead of me but I'm a little stressed about figuring out what needs to happen. And again, like I said when I signed off yesterday, the only thing that really needs to happen is Lib getting from where she is to the water trial and that's it. But I have these unfinished subplots or like unfinished things that I feel like I should deal with. And I don't really know <laughs> how long that will take. I don't really know what to try to resolve and what to wait with and see if I even keep it in the next draft. And a little bit wondering if it's just best to get to the end as quickly as possible and then deal with the aftermath later. I also have no idea of how many words I possibly have ahead of me to finish this first draft of the first half, which again is still a mouthful. I. I mean, it could be anywhere from like 5,000 words to 30,000 words. I have no idea because I have a hard time grasping that sort of thing. And if I start adding in or finishing off, I suppose, some subplots like Lid trying to get rid of her arm and some other things like Lid meeting up with people she met before, it's gonna be even longer. Not necessarily longer than 30,000, but the minimum of 5,000 is gonna bump up to at least 10. There's no way to get around that, unless I very much underdraft it, underwrite it, I suppose. So I haven't really gotten further with the planning since I last talked to you, which I guess is nice, because I'm supposed to do this with you, aren't I? But I'm thinking I'm gonna take a little bit of time now while the dinner is cooking and just start writing 
when I last left Lid, she was heading back into the city and she just got her period. So that will have to be dealt with. And then I'm thinking she's gonna try to find near the archivist who helped her before uh, to get some help to get her arm looked at and so on. And when I briefly mentioned my current predicament to Teresa and Marcus, and I talked about Lid's arm needing fixing, fixing, uh, Teresa said, oh, so she needs to go see a butcher. So I think Neo will take her to see a butcher. This is not gonna be pretty. But I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna start writing, actually get some words done. Wow. And then see where it takes me. Teresa and I are also gonna watch the special episode, the season finale of season four of Downton Abbey tonight, the London season. So I am super excited about that, but I'm hoping to get some words in before then, maybe some words after, but at least some words before then. I'll let you know when I have some. I am back. I ended up doing two 10 minute sprints. The first one got me 327 words and the second one got me 454 words. Things are happening. Lid is now hearing that there are rumors that there has been a shapeshifter sighting in the city and she's getting to listen to people talk about shapeshifters, which she hasn't done for a long time or really at all. And she's going to hear what people actually think now, not what people were thinking. 20 years ago when her mom left the, the mainland and hasn't been back since. It's not very favorable things that they're saying, but there is some degree of sympathy to shapeshifters, which is interesting. And she is just now about to enter the city. She is getting like, not searched by a guard, but having to declare why she's coming to the city. And uh, it's gonna be stressful. She's very, very, very stressed. And I'm trying to think back on the story and figure out has there been a time where she hasn't been stressed? because she feels very stressed. Anyway, leaving this for now, food is ready, so I'm gonna go eat that, and then maybe get back to this, definitely watch Downton Abbey. Hello again, it is now 10.40 at night, I have had dinner, Teresa and I have watched the episode, I have had a shower, we've had cookies, and I've done a 15 minute sprint, because I wanted to continue from where I was at and stop at a better place, and I have yet to figure out what for me is a better place if it's ending at the end of a sentence, ending at the end of a paragraph, the end of a chapter, or if I actually should end in the middle of a line so I know where I'm picking up tomorrow or the next day I'm writing. I have tried both intentionally and unintentionally and with, with varying success because I kind of feel like no matter where I leave off there's always the risk that I'm gonna forget where I was going with it because I've done the thing before of leaving off in the middle of a sentence and then I've come back to it the day after and just stared at it and I'm like where was this supposed to go I left off that and then we and then nothing so that's that's something that's going to figure out, I guess, if there even is an ideal way for me to do it, or if it varies depending on the story or the stage of it I'm at. But I did do another 15 minute sprint, which got me 668 words, and I'm very happy with that. However, I wanna keep going. It is 20 to 11 though, did I say 20 to 10 before? It's 20 to 11, and I really, really shouldn't, but I wish I didn't have work tomorrow so I could delve back into this. My hope for tomorrow is that I will actually come home from work earlier than today. I do get off work earlier tomorrow than I did today, but I also stayed over today and have been for the past two weeks. But I'm hoping that I'll get home earlier and have the energy and the motivation and the drive to do this. And or that I'll wake up a little early tomorrow and have the time to write a little bit before work. But that is dangerous because as difficult as it is for me to tear myself away from it right now, it might not be any easier tomorrow morning when my deadline is going to work as opposed to my deadline is going to bed. Either way, I wrote some stuff I'm really happy with, not just talking word count, I'm actually really happy with some of what I wrote. Lid has now made it into the city and there are voices. Now, you might remember if you've been here before, you know what the story's about, she can telepathically communicate with other people. She hasn't been doing that for quite a long time because there haven't been any shapeshifters around, but now she's entered the city and there are voices around her in her head and they're being like oh i love this so much she's just trying to talk to them she doesn't know who they are where they are or anything like that but who are you i ask a friend people who can help someone like you have you come to help us have you come to save us 
Could you show yourself? I ask. Not yet. We're scared. I'm scared. Aren't you scared? Mm. I don't know if it sounds as good like this as it does in my head <laughs> where I hear the voices apparently uh, and on the page but I love it so much and I still haven't figured out all the things that I had to figure or I still have to figure out for the story but I'm really really happy with this and I'm gonna run with this a bit and this sort of unlocks certain parts for things to come and ties things together and I really wish I didn't have to go to bed right now. <laughs> it is now just before 5 p.m. on Wednesday the 16th of June and the thing I was worried about happening has happened. I don't want to write. I did get home from work earlier than I tend to, which is very nice and I've taken some time to edit this video that you're watching now. I'm trying to stay on top of it and I didn't edit yesterday and it's already like 20 minutes long and it's way too long and I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> but I've now pulled up my document and I'm looking at it and I still really like what I wrote yesterday, what I talked about in my previous clip, but I don't want to write. I want to take a nap and I want to eat something and I want to watch some TV and I just want to want to do that instead as opposed to writing. But the deadline is nine days away, so I don't really have much of a choice, do I? We could push the deadline back. There is no one but me or Marcus who are affected by that. But it would also be nice to be done at that point because we've now made a plan for the story for the rest of the year and it would be nice to stick to that and not postponing things. But also it's a very big deadline to have in nine days. Nine days where I work most of them and might work overtime some of them. So I don't really know what I want to do right now. I feel like I should do a sprint or two and try to get back into it and try to keep writing. But I don't want to. At the same time, I don't know if I feel like it later tonight or tomorrow or Friday or Sunday or next Tuesday, you know? And the deadline as it is right now is still next Friday and it's still next Friday until we decide something else. And I don't want to leave however many words I may have left of this until like Thursday next week or even worse, Friday. So I should just do a sprint or two and try to get some words, preferably many words, I'm 1300 words away from 75,000 and I feel like 1300 words I should be able to do. I just hate that I was so excited about this yesterday when I had to go to bed and I was like, I could have stayed up for three more hours just to, to get to write this. And now I'm like, yeah, it's good, but I don't wanna do it. So I guess it's five o'clock now. I guess I will do sprints until six and then report back and then probably call that an evening. Depending, of course, on how I feel at that point. But sprints until six? I can do sprints until six, right? Right, right. Ha, right. Ha. It is now just after six, it's like 6.03. I have not written a single word. I have spent the last hour staring at my document clicking on different tabs for things, scrolling on my phone, and not doing any writing. And I don't really know what the problem is. I would like to write, but I am so tired and I just, I don't feel like I can go to bed at six. But I'm so tired, but I wanna write, but I'm not writing. And it's just a cycle of that. I also think I should be hungry for dinner right now. I'm not sure I actually am hungry, but I'm thinking I'll take my dinner break and then possibly, maybe come back to this or just decide that this is not a writing day and hope for better writing luck and inspiration tomorrow. All right, let's try this again, shall we? It is now four minutes until 10. I went and had my dinner and then I proceeded to do absolutely nothing of any value which was very very nice and uh, now it's almost 10 and I should probably be in bed like a half hour ago but I'm gonna try to write until 10 30 and then head off to bed I don't know if it's a great idea but writing <laughs> words I'm feeling a bit more motivated to do that right now and I figured I don't want to waste this opportunity so I'm gonna write for roughly half an hour probably in sprints maybe one that's half an hour long who knows and I will get some words and we can do this. I don't think I'll get the 1300 words that I need to hit 75K, but if I don't get them today, tomorrow's a new day and I can get words then, presumably. So 
I'm gonna set this up, half an hour sprint, and then talk to you after. In a shocking turn of events, I've written. I just did my half hour sprint. I did sprint for maybe a minute longer than that because I wanted to finish where I was at because I talked about in yesterday's clip about how I sometimes completely forget where I'm at. So I want to just finish off the idea I got at the time it went off. So maybe 31 minutes. I'm tracking it as 30. I feel like it evens out in the end, but 30 minutes, 1529 words. I have passed 75,000 words for this project. And not just that, I've also written something I'm very, very happy with. Lid has now met up with an old acquaintance, someone who helped her before, and she is starting to learn about things that have been going on and what it's been like being a shapeshifter on the mainland, which is a thing that Lid didn't even think was a thing. She thought all shapeshifters lived in the archipelago and she's learning that there are more of them and they are in the city and this is like the second largest city and you know are there any in the capital and what's it like for them there and stuff like that she has also just learned um that her wound of her very very mangled arm is infected so we're approaching the making the decision to dispose of the arm now as well so things are going great for Lynn. She's having the best time. She's about to sit back with a drink with a little umbrella in it and just, you know, lay on the beach for a bit and be happy and content. Uh, so I don't really see any problems. <laughs> Again, though, I'm in the predicament where like, I'd like to continue writing right now. I'm in the zone. I want to write. I'm eager to write, but it's 10.35 and I should go to bed because tomorrow's another day at work, <laughs> you know? So, I'm gonna be responsible and not write anymore tonight and then hope to get started earlier <laughs> tomorrow and get more writing done then. And then on Friday, I actually get to leave work early. I get to leave at one o'clock uh, due to a lot of overtime in the past couple of weeks. So hoping to make use of that and of the weekend as well. But I passed 75,000 words. I am now sitting at 75,244 words and I'm liking what I'm writing. And it's gonna, like, I have so much left. I have so much left even of the first half of the book. I'm not sure I'll be done with the first half at 100K. This is really concerning because we're looking at like a 400,000 word book here if we put my first half and second half and Marx's first half and second half together. It might be a 400,000 word book, which is way too long of a book. And I'm still wondering if there's somewhere we can actually you know, break it into two. If it's when they meet up or when they've done the water trial or at some other point and turn into a duology instead because this is way too freaking long. That is however a problem for a later day. Like I said, I'm gonna be good and not write any more today and hope to write more tomorrow. And I will just talk to you then. Hello everyone, it is now Thursday the 17th of June. I am home from work, it's almost 7 p.m. So we're about to start our stream, which will be over on Marx's channel this week. I am excited. I am hopefully gonna write words. I also have cookies I'm gonna go get in the kitchen. So let's do this. I'll probably not report back during the stream, but I'll let you know afterwards how I did. Hoping to get a fair few words done. Marcus is also almost done with work for the week, right? Mm -hmm. And I have a shorter work day tomorrow. So maybe we'll stream for longer than usual. I haven't talked this through with Marcus. Anyway, I will see you after the stream, if nothing else. All right, hello everyone. It is now 9.24 in the evening. The stream is over and done with, and we ended up doing three sprints during it. We did a 20 minute one that was actually 25 minutes, but I was only there for 20, so I'm only counting 20. A second 20 minute sprint, and then the last one was 22 minutes and 22 seconds, which I instead tracked as 22 minutes. During the first one, I got 946 words. During the second one, 730. And during the last one, 752 words. I have now passed 76, 77. I'm at 77,672 words. That was a lot of s sounds. Uh, of the story, Lid has now had her arm cut off. She might also be having a crush 
on the archivist we shall see and uh, it's going pretty well i'm happy with what i wrote i wish i would have written more it is now like i said almost 9 30 maybe i should go to bed maybe but i took some time now after the stream was over to actually put my word count into the nano site because i'm tracking there with a word count of 10,000 words this month and i hadn't put in any of the words i've written this month and i needed to have 5,000 661 words today to be on par for the first time this whole month and I have 5,702 so I am slightly slightly ahead again though my big real actual goal is to finish this project by next Friday or on next Friday uh, that that's more than another 5,000 words I can definitely say that either way I should probably pack up and go to bed now maybe read for a bit because I haven't been reading in a long time either way I will talk to you tomorrow Hello again, it is now Friday the 18th of June, it is 11.30 at night and I am just now sitting down to write. I did leave work early today which was very nice and then I came home and I took a nap and then suddenly it's evening and we've had dinner and whatever else. But Charlie is now running their stream with uh, Megan and Laura, I had to look up the names. And this stream is usually on way too late for me because it starts at 11pm my time. I'm sitting the first sprint out right now, they're doing that now because I wanted to collect my thoughts, film this, and make a plan for the night. And Mark and I took a walk a little earlier and talked about the dual world project and how many words we possibly have left and stuff like that. And I might not have as much left as I thought I might, meaning I might be able to just skip ahead to the end, almost just skip ahead to the end of her being at the water trial and then stop there and start the rereading, editing, going through sort of process. But I'm gonna do a little bit of writing tonight. I'm not sure how long we'll stay up for. Again, we took a nap, but I'm not sure how long that will tide us over for. And yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Maybe I'll be done with the writing this weekend. That would be very nice. Hello again. It is a while later now. It is 20 to 1 approximately at night. I also don't know if you can hear this, but my allergies kick-started today and, uh, or yesterday, because past midnight and I'm very itchy and stuffy in my nose. So I don't know if that's also adding into me being kind of tired or it's the fact that it's 20 to one in the morning. Who knows? Either way, I've been in Charlie's stream, not in Charlie's stream, but in the chat for, for a while. And I did one sprint. I did a 20 minute sprint with them and got 796 words, most of which I'm happy with. Uh, the, the last line I wrote, I was like, no, this is taking me down the completely wrong path. And I'm gonna be responsible and I'm gonna remove that or at least maybe keep counting it as words but I'm not gonna use that I'm gonna you know put that a couple rows down and take the new direction that I would like to take instead and I've left a note for that on my desk for tomorrow because as a matter of fact I think I should go to bed now it's late I am tired <laughs> so Marks and I are planning a writing day on Sunday. We don't really have any plans for tomorrow though. I'm hoping to get some words down then too, but we haven't made any plans for it. So we'll see what ends up happening. I should also just have a weekend, which is very nice. And I should also be filming my update video for this project that goes up on Wednesday in preparation for the stream on Sunday. I have, however, gone through the bullet point list that I made for the story couple of days ago to sort of be like what do I have left I think I did that on maybe Monday or Sunday what are the steps I need to have them go through and there is still one thing there that I've forgotten that I really want to include so I'm gonna write that but Marks and I also had a talk about how maybe I don't need to keep writing on this I mean it would still be good to get to the midpoint presumed midpoint where Lid and Ian will do the water trial but Maybe I don't have to just write stuff right now just to fill the time between where she's at now time-wise and where she's at then time-wise. So we'll see how many words I actually have left. Presumably some, clearly some, but we'll see just how many it ends up being. Hello everyone and welcome back. It is almost 9.30 p.m. on the 19th of June. Marcus and I are starting a stream in four minutes that we just decided to do. So we're hoping to get a lot of words done then. I haven't written anything earlier today and I'm still at the same spot of the story that I told you about yesterday and I still do have my trusty little post-it notes of what I wanted to move on into for right now in the story. But Marcus and I also talked a little bit over lunch today and Marcus said that Lid can no longer fly because Lid has now had her arm chopped off. Can you hear those birds? 
they are upset that Liv can't be one. Because she had her arm chopped off, the arm is what turns into a wing when she's in her bird form. You're getting louder. <laughs> the arm is what turns into a wing when she's in her bird form, and now she will only have one wing when she shifts into a bird. And that made me realize that that's also true for whatever else she shifts into. If she shifts into a horse, she'll be a three-legged horse. If she shifts into a cat, she'll be a three-legged cat, and so on. The only real way to avoid this is being something with more legs because then she might still be able to move forward quite well or like an octopus which or ferrix marcus just pointed out yes octopus might happen that's already something i don't know if i've told you guys that but i have it in the back of my mind sort of uh that that's a thing that could happen later on but that's not very useful for crossing land unless she's in the jar of water um either way so I realized that and how much Lid is actually sacrificing for something that she doesn't even actually want. She doesn't want the throne. She doesn't want to rule. She's gonna come around to it a little bit, but she doesn't want it. And she is sacrificing so many things for this. And the options are sacrifice these things because if she hadn't cut off her arm, the infection would have spread and most likely killed her. Or it's not sacrificing these things not just meaning the arm, but also meaning Tev and leaving home and so on and so forth and definitely dying because of how the quest is set up. So it's a lot for her right now. It's a lot for me <laughs> for her right now. I find it to be a really interesting angle and just reflecting on how much she's given up. And with her sort of sacrificing her arm like this, she has effectively, seeing as how she can't successfully shift into like a bird or a horse anymore, given up and cut those ties with her home and with her heritage and with everything that she comes from really so that's gonna be really fun and horrible to explore anyway it is 9 29 we're gonna start this stream i'll talk to you later hello again it is now 20 minutes past midnight leading into sunday the 20th of june we just finished a almost three hour long sprint. No. <laughs> I thought that sounded wrong. We just finished an almost three hour long stream. That sounds better, doesn't it? Um, I just closed down my uh, tracking software or my tracking documents. I'm gonna pull that up again and tell you my word count. We did three sprints during the stream, which is very few for a stream that long, especially since none of the sprints were actually all that long. But we did problem solve a few things, both for Marcus' story and for mine, so I'm not upset about that, and it was nice to get that problem solved. But we did three sprints, like I said. The first one was 20 minutes long, and I got 753 words. The second one was 25 minutes long, and I got 715 words. And then the last one was actually 29 minutes, but I went off and made a sandwich and stuff, so I only wrote for 22 minutes of it, and got 805 words. So my total for the stream was 2,273 words. Wait, and now the cats are running. Which is a lot of words, That is more than I thought I got. So I'm very pleased with that. I have now written Lid seeing wanted posters for herself and panicking a bit about that. Shapeshifting into something that would get her out of the city and she has left the city. And now I just need to figure out where she's going for the water trial and how she knows where to go. I know on the map where she's going. I haven't had anything pulling her in that direction or anyone telling her to go there or any dreams guiding her, you know? And I think I was supposed to have a dream. Uh, I need to figure that out. But then I am just writing her getting there. I think that's all I'm doing. Which means I will most likely be done tomorrow, Sunday the 20th. Today is after midnight, but you get what I mean. Which will be very nice, actually. And I can't help feeling, I said that in the stream too, it feels a bit too soon, it feels like I'm not ready to be done, but also, I have written a lot for the story. I'm currently sitting at 80,000 words for the first half of this. That is very long, probably too long, and I just need to get to the end of this bit and then I can go back and start reworking it. But I don't know, I just, I think I got so hung up on the fact that I might hit 100k for the first half that I was like, no, but I'm, I'm underachieving. I could write another 20, no, don't write another 20,000 words. Leave it around 80 and go take a nap. <laughs> Either way, I'm gonna go to bed now. As you can probably tell, I need to do that. 
And then we're planning a writing day, a full writing day tomorrow. We'll have a stream going, which will be in the past for you guys. But yeah, we have that going for us. And hopefully I'll be done tomorrow. I don't see why I wouldn't be unless I suddenly think of something that I've forgotten or that I would very, very much like to add. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Okay. Good night. I'll see y'all tomorrow. New day, same card again. It is now Sunday, the 20th of June. We have five minutes to go until it's 2 p.m. and we are gonna do a stream. This is probably, hopefully, the stream where I get the last words that I need for this video and for this first half of the story, which is what this video is all about, isn't it? I haven't written anything since I last talked to you, but excited to get the last words done now, although I still feel like it's too soon and like I don't have enough and like I've missed something crucial. But it's a first draft. I can miss crucial things. We're gonna be streaming. We don't know how long. Marcus wanted a long stream and we have since not discussed it, so we will see. And I'm also gonna have my lunch. This is a very warm box, which is some fried noodles that Marcus made the other day. So I will report back later and probably be done. This face is not the face of someone who is excited to be done, apparently. <laughs> but I am excited. It would be really nice to be done. Hello everyone! It is now significantly later. It is... what time is it? 5 to 8 in the evening? Can you hear that? It is currently 5 minutes to 8 in the evening. We finished the stream a long time ago. We streamed for about 2, 2 and a half hours. Um, <laughs> I am out on our balcony with all the nice plants that Marcus and Teresa are tending to and growing salad and whatever else they're doing here and we are in the middle of an absolute thunderstorm. I don't know if you can hear that or see the lightning flicker but there is a lot of that going on. It's getting a little better. I can now see past the first line of trees so maybe it's actually going away but it's been an insane thunderstorm and rainstorm and it's almost like I timed it isn't it? We streamed for about two two and a half hours I wrote a grand total of 82 words, partly because I was very close to where I wanted to end the story, the, this first half, but also Marcus had an idea. An idea that changes... Wow, <laughs> I just saw lightning. An idea that changes the story. This idea is related to the lightning trial, or the electricity trial, that we have sort of renamed lightning trial because people in this world will not know what electricity is. And yeah, that is where we're at. Um, we decided to go with that idea. We'll tell you more about that in the stream on Saturday, which will probably be in the past for you guys when this video goes up. Not sure. It might be tomorrow. I don't know when I'm putting this up yet. But either way, it's uh, changing a fair few things. And it's almost fitting that this thunderstorm showed up then. Because we haven't had any huge thunderstorms in a long time. We've had a bit of thunder in the past couple weeks, but not any huge ones. And I think I've kind of misunderstood or misremembered just how powerful the world feels when it's thundering. Either way, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it through the whole one, thank you. If you didn't make it through the whole one, you won't see this, but thank you anyway. I hope this video has been enjoyable for you too. I expect it to run for another week, but here we are. It's done. It feels nice. It feels a bit anticlimactic, but feels very nice. Anyway, I should wrap this up and head back inside now, but thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another video soon, so I'll see you then. Bye!